Hi everybody, this is B'nai Kent, also known as Mistress Ain't. Uh, today's video is uh, going to be a redo um, of why I left the Mormon cult. And since I did the first one several years ago, um, I've, I've changed quite a bit. So, uh, and I was out of focus, <laughs> um, and I was just really unsure of myself and just kind of drawn in. And now I've, I've changed quite a bit, which is a wonderful thing. But, and so I'll start, I'll start at the beginning. Um, I was doing my, my best as being, to, at being a, a very strong Mormon and just being freshly divorced well not freshly divorced i was divorced for a couple three years and uh i was in my own apartment i had computer internet access and i was just kind of hanging out in a chat room I, if i remember correctly it was like ldschat.com or something like that um i have no idea if it's still in existence i haven't even tried to look so it doesn't matter anymore but I was hanging out and just chatting with people. And this was about the time when uh, there was, I think it was in Texas, there was this polygamist group that, uh, I think it was Warren Jeffs that got arrested and, you know, the kids got evacuated. And this was a big hullabaloo. And eventually we got around to that topic in the chat room and uh, someone had mentioned that, I, that I'd never heard this before, but uh, they'd mentioned that Joseph Smith had, I think it was like 30 other wives besides Emma. And I'd never heard of that before. That just blew me away. And I had to do some more research on that. And, um, I've searched a few places and yeah, we had Google, so I Googled it and I found out that that was absolutely true. And that just, it shocked me and just because everything was like Brigham Young. Brigham Young had all these wives and all of that. And I've always had a problem with polygamy. Uh, and I and I said so in the chat room. I said, yeah, I've always had a problem with it. And they said, and a lot of uh, uh, a lot of the people in the chat room were attacking me, saying, "Well, it's going to be practiced whether you like it or not, and you know you don't have a choice in the matter." And blah blah blah. And then of course other people were saying, "Yes, you do. You have a choice." You know. And I just said, I just I have a problem with it, and I would never ever do it. So. Um, going back to I did the research and I just kind of I was just blown away and then I started thinking that well if Joseph Smith lied about this what else could he have lied about and I started doing some more research and more looking around and that's where I learned also that he didn't just translate the Book of Mormon with um, the Urim and Thummim or Urim and Thummim or however you want to pronounce it. But it what, what he did was he put these magic rocks in a hat and he put his face over the hat. And I just, <laughs> I was just like shocked about learning all this stuff. And what I did, oh, excuse me. I just pulled back. I because I was in such shock, I didn't know what to think or do or believe anymore. So what I did was for like a whole year, I just did nothing but deep thoughts and just thought and prayed. And I said, you know, at the, when I was a believer, I, I just, you know, God, Heavenly Father, which way do I go? What do I do? 
and my whole testimony was shaken. My just <laughs> my whole way of life was just crumbled around me and I was just like I didn't know what to do or think or whatever and I kind of figured out a long time ago that the bishops uh, or the hierarchy you know they're just men and they're you know they're a little more than phoning it in uh, they're really not spiritually led I mean they're just men and so I just kind of figured, well, I wouldn't go to them for help for to answer my questions because I, I very seriously doubted they could do it. So I went on to just not even going back to researching anything, not doing anything. I just pulled inside myself. I just, I did hang out online, but I didn't go to the LDS chat room. I didn't do any of that. I just kind of had to really think. And I just finally said, this can't be true. This, I think this is all bullshit. This is all nonsense. And so I just, I just stopped going. And uh, I was talking to, uh, I did find a, an online group, uh, they do message boards. Um, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. I'm getting old, I'm getting senile or something, I don't know. But um, I just, I just didn't know what to do. And I'm probably repeating myself over and over again, and I apologize for that. But um, I found this online group and I said, and uh, where it was this message board, it was a message board thing. And I typed to them and I said, and asking them, you know, I'm really discovering a lot of things about the Mormon church that, you know, I don't know where to go. I don't know what to believe. And I even asked, please don't be mean to me, <laughs> and, you know, be kind because I'm just, I'm lost right now. And they, they just said, you know, you know, you're not alone in this, you know, we'll, we'll help you in any way we can. We can ask, answer your questions. And I talked, I told I talked about, typed about Joseph Smith and the stuff I found out and they said, yes, all this is true. And then they gave me online resources. So I did a lot more studying. And that's when I learned that you can resign from the Mormon church. You can have your name removed from the records of the church. And I did a video on that and I may redo that one too. But, um, it, it was shocking to me. I was, I was, I was scared. I mean, because when you are LDS or when you're Mormon, it's a way of life. I mean, everything that you do is, it's what you eat, drink, dress, just about every action, every thought is all about Mormonism and you know there's a lot of people that question well do Mormons worship Joseph Smith pretty much they do uh, there is one of their hymns that says uh, praise to the man who communed with Jehovah and as well as there's others there are other hymns that are, talk about Joseph Smith it's in their hymn book and I just kind of thought this can't, this can't be right. This cannot be right. I was, you know, and once I resigned, I just, I felt like there was a, a weight just taken off my shoulders. I just went boom. And I just started on this journey 
of, you know, learning about me and learning what I like and don't like and um, just exploring a world that was foreign to me. Oh, I mean, like, um, like I was just on another planet. I just, just, just discovered how wonderful life really is. Um, instead of being fearful of everything and everybody, I opened myself up to this beautiful world. And I have met some amazing people that just, that just blew me away. Absolutely blew me away with just how fan friggin' fantastic they are. And, um, I, um, I amazed, I just was amazed that the world was a beautiful place. There was nothing, there's nothing to fear. And I learned to live without fear. I have learned to laugh wholeheartedly and not just, oh, <laughs> you know, just let it out and just enjoy life and the sunshine. And, you know, I started experiencing things, you know, I'd never ridden a motorcycle before and I did that. And that was just a lot of, it was a lot of fun. And I learned to drink. I don't drink a lot and I don't smoke. Uh, I'll never smoke, but I've, I've learned to drink some alcohol. Uh, I've that <laughs> just uh, so much. And it just, it just floored me on how amazing life is, how it really, really is. And you know, it's all, it was, that it was, it was cool to find out that, you know, you don't have to believe what other people believe to, for them to be a good person. And uh, after I left, after I resigned, I, I just kind of, okay, well, what church do I, what church do I go to? Cause that's something, that's all I'd ever known is, you know, going to church on Sunday. And so I went to this, I think it was Unitarian church. And the, I was in for a little bit of a shock because um, they had a band up front with electric cars and drums and stuff. And um, <laughs> it was kind of, because, you know, in the Mormon church, everything is just like oh, peaceful and, um, and just very, very subdued. And this is the Unitarian shit. They had like the band up front and um, they had people like stand up and, and they even talked about um, politics, which in the Mormon church you don't do. But these guys were openly talking about politics. And that just, that a lot of, the, all of this is just shocking the crap out of me. <laughs> and, um, at the end, they had everybody stand up and get into a big circle all the way around the room, and everybody was holding hands, which I wasn't really comfortable with. <laughs> and I had a bad arm, so I couldn't raise it very well, but they wanted everybody to raise their hands way up above. And <laughs> it's just weird to me. And so I just, uh, I don't think I better go back. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Anyway, I'm, I'm entertaining myself. Um, God, this is almost 15 minutes long. Holy crap. Um, see, I can talk. I can really talk. Um, but slowly over time, I think by 2011, I had become an atheist. I just kind of realized that all of this is bullshit. All this religion crap it's actually what's harming it's harming the world today because people that are religious no matter what whether it's christian or hindu or whatever whatever that it's harming the world because people are fighting over whose god is right 
people are fighting over lands and territories and because it belongs to their God or whatever. And that just, that's, you know, people are needlessly dying. They're needlessly dying. And that's just, that's not right. And if there was a God, why would he do this? Why would he give horrible, painful diseases to children? Innocent little children. Why is there so much cruelty in the world? All because of religion. And it's, it's just bullshit. It's complete and utter bullshit. And the thing is, I've, I've really have changed over the years. And now that I'm, a, I'm an atheist, I, I'm still a good person. Not because what the Mormon cult taught me, it's, it is a cult. Mormonism is a cult. And, um, God, my brain's, sorry. Um, this whole, <laughs> it's just a natural part of you that knows right from wrong, that knows, you know, killing somebody or hurting somebody, raping or whatever, it's not the right thing to do. It's, I don't like, when there's people that do, guys, people that do rape and murder and they do it because they think they're right or they think that it's okay to do and it's not. I get that. So, but I know I'm bringing that topic down. I'm sorry, but um, switching gears. Um, I think leaving Mormonism was the best thing I ever did. And I think my one regret would be I should have done it sooner, <laughs> a lot sooner, like um, high school. Because <laughs> uh, I just think, you know, knowing now what I didn't know then, you know, I would have left a long, long time ago. That's my only regret. Um, there will be a part two because I'm probably boring the shit out of you, but I know. <laughs> probably, I don't know. But, um, but this is it for now. Um, I love you. Bye.